Running back 25, Raheem Mostert of the San Francisco 49ers. I have him at 25 because I don't quite think he's on that RB2 status, and it's for the same reasons I talked about with Tevin Coleman. Well, we don't know what Kyle Shanahan's going to do week to week. Uh, you know how we used to say this about, well, we still say it about Sean Payton, but we especially used to when, you know, they had Lance Moore, they had Colston, they had Jimmy Graham, and they had all those guys, and you never knew who was going to be the focal point of the game plan for Sean Payton. And now the 49ers are similar. Is it going to be Tevin Coleman getting carries? Is it going to be Debo Samuel in the short passing game or even the run game? Is it going to be Kittle on screens and down the field? Is it going to be this year Jarek McKinnon catching the ball out of the backfield? Or is it going to be Mostert like we saw in the NFC Championship game running the ball 25 times? It's just so hard to know with Kyle Shanahan. That's what makes, uh, obviously, the 49ers so successful offensively is that inability to key on a certain guy and, and you know, that that – mystery of who who it's going to be this week and, and that but that's what keeps their fantasy values down outside of Kittle is I can't put Mostert as an RB2 as a flex play I like him because of again that possibility that he'll get 25 carries and 200 yards uh, especially this year running behind Trent Williams and an offensive line that dominated last year in the playoffs so I like Mostert as a flex play. If he's your RB2, I would be very, very worried, again, just because of that, that uh, and never being able to be sure. So he's a good player. We know he's solid, but McKinnon's in there. They still have Tevin Coleman. Don't, don't rely on him as your RB2, but if he's your flex play, I think he'll be one of the best flexes in the league, even though it may not be consistent week-to-week -week production. He'll have those big weeks and can win you a week from time to time.